Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. How's everybody doing? Are we doing good? Taking the plastic off of my canvas board because I'm working on a canvas board tonight. Let's see who's in here. Hi, JD and Asia and Shelly and Renee and Sandy and Karen and Bet. Hello and Janie and. Joy. And Miss Teresa and Bima and Tania. And Miss T and Nina. And who else? Miss Gail. And Miss Paula. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Hi, Hags Hollow. How's everybody doing? I mean, hi, Angela. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Teresa. It's Bet Betty Jo. Oh, okay. I will try to remember Miss Betty. Miss Betty Jo, I'm bad with names until somebody's here a long time, so... <laughs> Don't take offense. Hi, Penny. It takes a while for everybody to be, for, for me to remember a name. People have to get here or be here consistently. And then over time, I, I start, it starts to sink in my black hole of a brain. Hi, Linda and Miss Laura and the other Laura. So, who's playing along with us today? Who's got a, a canvas or a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard even? You don't need very much. And is there anybody that's going to play along or, or who's never played before and doesn't really know what we're doing or how we do it? Let me know and I will let you know. What the heck is going on? Let me put that over here a second while I clean up that mess that I just created. Um, it's your birthday, Miss Sandy. Oh, we get to sing happy birthday. We get to sing happy birthday to Miss Sandy. 
And we got Teresa playing and Bima playing and who else is playing? Um, Joy's playing and she's happy about it. <laughs> And hi, Barbara. Uh, <laughs> Linda's playing. JD is playing. Hi, Bettina. It's your first time here? Well, if it's your first time here and you've never played this before with us, it's kind of like half a game and half a class, kind of, sort of. Um, basically what we do is we take, um, a, either a piece, I'm doing it on a canvas. Normally I do it on a piece of watercolor paper, but you could do it on a piece of just any kind of heavy duty surface, a piece of cardboard, a piece of chipboard, a piece of, if you have an old cereal box, cut it, you know, cut a piece off of it, you know, anything really. Um, and all you need is some paints. Um, if you have a stencil or two laying around, that's great. Um, a stamp, you can use things around your house as stamps. Like we use household stamps, like what I call household stamps is like bubble wrap or like a trivet that you would put pots on sometimes those silicone ones have cool patterns on them. You can cut those up and use them to make, you know, stamp designs with it. Um, you can use a pill bottle to stamp circles with stuff like that. So you like, you know, that's what I have pill bottles all over the place and you can just dip it, you dip it in paint and it makes circles. Basically what we do is we pick cards out of this pile of cards and we do whatever it says to do on them. And it doesn't matter what the outcome is. It really doesn't. Um, you can hope for the best, but you know, especially if you're doing it on a piece of paper, don't worry too much about what it looks like because it's just a piece of paper and we're just having fun. And you know, if you've never done mixed media before, this is a great way to get your feet wet and get you started. Um, and you know, sometimes, you know, we have days where everything comes out looking kind of cool and sometimes they look like poop. But guess what? Meh, who cares? Um, I usually, when I do it on watercolor paper, I will, um, after I'm all done with mine, because you end up with like a background kind of, and you can use it from there and do something with it. Or you can cut it up and use it for like tags or ATCs, which is artist trading cards. You can use them as journal covers. You can use them for all kinds of things. So sometimes when you don't like it as a whole, if you cut it up into something else, it, it'll actually look better. Um, but it's just a lot of fun. So if you've never played along, just grab something, anything. And if it's the first time, I would grab something small. Don't start with anything too big. Maybe something like six by six or whatever, you know, something small. I'm gonna set the timer for 15 minutes per prompt. So these are the prompts or these cards and I'll pick one and then you got 15 minutes to put down what you uh, wanna put down as far as, it'll tell you what we're gonna basically put down uh, for the most part. You're, the only decision you'll have to make is what color you use and even sometimes that's chosen for us depending on what card we pick. So, you know, you don't have to think about anything which is the nice part because a lot of times when you're doing mixed media or you're sitting down with a canvas or something, you're like looking at it going, okay, now what? So this way, everything is chosen for you. You just do what it says. And then at the end of the class, game, whatever, um, it takes a couple hours to, to do. And at the end, if everybody takes a picture of theirs and posts it in our Facebook group, um, which usually Janie puts a link up if she gets a chance, uh, she'll put a link, but Nightbot, there's a, a Nightbot will also put a link in here every now and again. You can join our group and then we'll accept you immediately and then you can post your picture. And then at the end of the night, we'll do a giveaway. And tonight's giveaway is this size, same canvas, a canvas board. So you'll, you'll get a brand new canvas board and I'll also put other things in the package. So you'll get this and whatever else I can, you know, 
I have to put in the package different little doodads and whatever's so you'll get it's an 11 by 14 canvas board and so that's going to be the prize tonight for anybody that participates and posts their picture and then I'll put everybody's name in a cup and pick a winner pick a wiener Janie Sills she is one of our moderators and she just put the link um, you can click on that link and then click join and you'll be a member of our group and uh, yeah it's a really cool group we have a lot of great ladies in our group and a couple of guys too um, yeah fun fun so does anybody have any questions on uh, what we're doing if you do make sure and if you if you ever have any questions Make sure you put it in, if you put it in all caps in the chat, it's easier for me to see or spot. Um, Cause sometimes it's hard to concentrate on doing what I'm doing here and then what's going on in the chat. But if it's in all caps, it, you know, I usually can pick it out as, okay, that's a specific comment for me or whatever or question. Um, but yeah. Hi Bootsy. Roy Bootsy is one of our, it's one of our wonderful guys that's in our group. Oh, you, you're you're in a choir? Oh, I didn't know that. I used to, I used to love being in choir. Yeah, usually we do this on Wednesday nights. We usually don't do it on Thursdays, but because I had a lot of things to do yesterday, I had to move it to to today. So usually it's Wednesdays around. Sometimes it's at eight o'clock. Sometimes eight thirty. But if you're part of the group. Um, you'll get also subscribe to my channel. You'll also, you know, and put your notifications on by clicking on the little bell icon thing. And this way you'll hopefully get a notification when we go live. But typically if you check our group on Wednesday nights, you'll see a link put up in the group, um, in the afternoon, usually that'll have the link to our class for, for that night. Um, there was a gnat flying around my room. You are not allowed in here. Hi, Miss Sheila. Oh, you're going to try to do it? Awesome. Yeah, it's easy. And if there's something that you don't have, especially if you're new to it, don't worry about it. Just skip it. Skip it or improvise with something else. It's not, you know, you know we're not picky about it. it. You know, it's just all about getting you kind of making a mess and having fun and just, it's relaxing. It's something to do that, you know, helps you relax and unwind. It's no pressure. So... You know, you don't have to worry about it. If, if there's something we pick on the cards and it's like, oh, I don't have that. You know, we can give you different alternative ide ideas um, for something else you might have. And, you know, if it's your first time and you've never done any kind of mixed media, you might not have all the things that we have or that we typically use. Even though if you do any kind of crafting at all with any kind of paint, you probably have stuff that you can use. So, you know, you, you're not going to, there's not going to be that much you probably won't have. But if you're brand new to any kind of paint or any kind of thing like that, you there might be things obviously you don't have, and that's fine. Just just improvise, and if you like it enough, maybe you know you can get a few of the things that we use. Um, most of it is you know fairly inexpensive. Um, if I didn't say hello to you, hello. And thanks for coming in. I'm going to give this a dry because it's not drying. We're going to also sing Sandy happy birthday. Let me dry the gesso on here. Every now and again, when I get a wild hair up my butt, I like to do a canvas board or a canvas or anything. Do I have the sniffles? Not really. If I do, it's just because I was running around for like the last hour and that usually will do it. All right. Um, are you still here, Sandy? Oh, you're still here. Let's sing Miss Sandy happy birthday. My girls make me cry. You mean my girl? You mean my dogs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
what happened to my other heat gun? I have to fix my other heat gun. The switch on it is like messed up a little bit. So I've got to fix it. I just haven't had time. So I'm using my old one for now. And this one also is a little bit, has a tendency to short out. I don't know what it is with the switches and things on these heat guns, but they have a tendency to short out. I could fix the other one. I just, like I said, I just haven't had time. All right, let's sing happy birthday to Miss Sandy. All you guys are going to sing along as well out loud to drown out my voice. That would be great. So let's sing along or let's sing happy birthday to Miss Sandy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sandy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss Sandy. I hope you had a good day today. Did you do anything good for your birthday? Mm. Did you do some harmony with me, Roy? <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, Cece Callie. How are you? And anybody else I miss? Hi, Erin. All right. This is still not completely dry. I usually put a coat of gesso down on, on, on whatever I do. You don't have to. It's not necessary. Gesso, if you don't know, is just like a base coat type of thing. It gives a whatever your surface is a little bit of tooth, and it also seals it a little bit. But it's not, like I said, it's not necessary. I think I'm good. Oh, also, before I start, uh, Miss Carehart sent me this. It's a doily punch, like a tiny doily. Isn't that awesome? She was so sweet. She sent me this doily punch. I'll show you what it looks like. It's really cute. Isn't that cool? So I'm excited. That was very nice of her. She shouldn't have done that. But it was very sweet of her to do, and I appreciate it. Doily is going to be a prompt tonight. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. All right. Let's pick the first card. And I'm going to write it in before I'll say it, but you'll see it probably as I'm writing it in. I put all the prompts up in the ticker at the top of the screen, so you'll see them um, go by. So the first card is to make an ombre with three colors. That means grab some three different colors of paint and make an ombre on your canvas. Um, you can use three colors. You can, you know, but if you only have two colors, do two colors. If you don't have, you know, if you don't know what that means to do an ombre, it's basically just doing, you know, three different colors that are kind of gradient into each other a, a bit. Um, if it, it doesn't have to be perfect, you could just do three colors, you know what I mean? But it's just fun. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set the timer for 15 minutes and I'm going to grab three colors. I hope let me grab them.
my paint under here because it kind of got buried underneath some stuff. At least all my metallic paints did, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying not to drop too much stuff all over the floor either as I do it. There it is. Okay, found it. Whoa, it almost fell over. So I'm going to do two different purples and a gray because I want to do a kind of Halloweenish background. Um, I'm going to use this brush, I think. We'll do the trick. And I'm just going to start by throwing some paint and a nice big glob of paint as well. Because that is how my paint always seems to be. <laughs> I very have globs in my paint. And I'm going to take this color. I'm not going to be all ni nice and neat and like careful about it. And I've got globs in my paint. I love when that happens. It's always great. Globby paint. Whatever. It's You got to think. Everything that we put down is going to get layered with other things. So there's going to be a lot of layers going on. Um... So whatever you put in this bottom layer is barely going to get seen because we're going to put things, you know, layers and layers on top of it. So don't get too uh, comfortable with what you put down because the whole point is to layer and and my gesso obviously was not very dry over here. Wow, this is like a mess because there's so much globs in this paint. Ugh, gross. Well, so much for that paint. <laughs> See, we all have the greatest supplies, don't we? Don't we now? And this, my gesso is still wet, clearly, because it is like half white in the center, but that's all right, whatever. Hot mess, that's what we call it hot mess that globby crappy paint there and my brush fell apart how about that <laughs> let's see how much I can how much better I could do with this paint I'm gonna add a little black to it yeah google yeah I was talking to Janie last night and I said google instead of google I said, go on Google. <laughs> I mean, Google. <laughs> Another glob. That's what you get for paints that you've had for five, eight years. Now I'm not gonna be able to do a perfect gradient between these because obviously gray and purple are not close relatives to each other. And my gesso is like kind of on the not perfectly dry. Here's what I found. Okay. Oh, haha. -ha. Stupid me. I said Google and my phone decided to chirp, to chirp in, chime in and chirp in on what I was saying. I was like, what? <laughs> What's going on? There's a glob. And it's gone. Let's get this one. Oh, good Lord. Is, is every alarm and thing going to go off on my phone too while we're doing this today? Goodness gracious. We're off to a great start. Just great. I don't know what's going on. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing it. Whatever. We got like a gray blue stripe going on. Or gray purple. And if I can keep the globs out of it long enough. And that would be great. So hmm, let's see. Well, I've got nine minutes to mess it up even more so we're good we're good we got nine minutes and 30 seconds to go let's see let's see if this paint is nicer to me and kinder to my metallics aren't usually so bad they don't usually get quite as gloppy at least i don't think so i don't remember any having any metallics that are really gloppy But, you know, there's a first for everything. I might take 
little of this black metallic and throw it in there with it just to darken it a tad or a lot either way you know tad or a, or a lot so anybody that's new can obviously see i'm no professional painter by any means <laughs> that's not what we're doing here this is just a uh, good time and a mess and for us to do something together that that's messy and fun and not worry about what the outcome is so much I mean I am working on a canvas so I'm a little more concerned about the outcome but still meh, it's, I mean I'm not that concerned with it I sell these canvases in my store and they're not that expensive anyway so they're like two dollars and something I think I don't remember exactly they're not that much though not enough to be too too worried about maybe I need new paints maybe this is a sign that I just need to get some new damn paints in my life I think that might be the case maybe somebody's trying to tell me something like hey you need some damn new paints woman because your paints suck they suck a duck suck a duck suck a duck okay we got seven minutes left who uses glitter i use glitter all the time i love glitter glitter the best glitter rocks glitter rocks my socks I love me some glitter. No. <laughs> Let's take that snot, put it in the garbage, and then we'll just um, take some of that and put it back. <laughs> I think I've officially resorted back to being five years old and officially uh, should be supervised from here on out. Um, I have enough paint on here to do six canvases and maybe the Sistine Chapel, but you know, things happen. <laughs> Oops. That's all right. I like it. I mean, I, I'm not complaining about it. I kind of like it not perfect but just kind of throwing things around and it's kind of fun this is going to take about nine years to dry so this 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 is going to be an issue that's going to be an issue so i'm going to start drying it all right we're going to just stop there and start drying it <laughs> i was trying to get a little more of the paint out and i ended up a big glop kind of just escaped all right Woo. I'm looking pretty now I got less than five minutes to somehow dry this hot mess All right, so you're gonna hear my heat gun for like the next five minutes. <laughs> but I'll try to uh, use one hand to use the heat gun and I'll scroll through the chat and see what I missed with the other hand.
And Janie can explain the rules for each guy. Sorry. It's hard for me to do two things at once, especially when I'm on a timer, but Janie will explain the rules. She knows it. All my mods should know the rules of Mixed Media Mashup by now. <laughs> I'll put Janie on the spot. No, Janie, you can explain it. You know how to play. Oh, it's Russian? Then why, why did she, everybody call you Greek guy? You're a Russian guy? Make up your mind what you are. <laughs> Canvas, it's okay. And I I'm burning it at the same time. But I've never had Russian cuisine before. I bet it's good. Ooh, I think I'm just about dry. All right. Well, I guess none of my mods want to explain how to work mixed media mashup. Does anybody else want to give it a try since my mods are too busy chatting about other things and not chatting about what we're doing? <laughs> gonna pick the next card you don't need a wrench just explain it all right the next card is collage so that means to take anything you have that you want to explain and or want to um, yeah collage I have that on the brain I explained the rules in the beginning, but then he, I guess he came in late and now not, nobody will explain the rules. So that's interesting that I've asked now four people to, four times for somebody to explain in case somebody's come in, but nobody's doing it. <laughs> anyway, collage. So that means you can collage anything, paper, scraps, whatever you want that you have to collage down with some glue. Just collage it down and not like, it's not like a nice neat collage. Just throw some paper down, however, you know, willy nilly or however you want. So I'll start the timer back up. Oh, I don't know who it is. How am I supposed to know who it is? Oh, for the love of God. I'm not paying attention to the chat, so <laughs> you guys do whatever you want. I ain't got time to pay attention to the chat when I have no idea what's going on. Alright, so collage, that means grab something and collage whatever you want.
can't seem to find any paper that I'm looking for. Ooh, I found a couple pieces, so I'll use those now. But I think I need, oh yeah, that needs to be dried a little more. So I'm gonna dry this a little bit more. Wipe it. I don't care. I just want to get it dry. It is wet. this to be dry enough so I can put some glue on. Because otherwise it would have made a mess. But since I want this to be a Halloween or whatever, I'm going to use different collage papers that are different Halloween style colors. I don't know. These are some of the papers I did on my jelly print that I'm going to put down. It's glue, which I'm running out of. And you can collage anything that you have down. It doesn't have to be, it can be just some old magazine pictures or, you know, pages. It could be some book pages, some dictionary pages.
Rocky. If I can find some other paper that I have. I have this one that I this was like a, a piece that got all messed up. Stick it down. Stick it. Stick it real good. I'm gonna stick this piece too. Why the hell not? Spin it around this away. I'm just going to frame it for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> it's going to get covered up anyway. Turn it this away. Okay. Normally I normally would be more willy-nilly with my papers and just put them everywhere, but I'm compelled to do that I guess today. Some wrinkles in my paper. I don't really care if there's wrinkles, just as long as I stay stuck down. Stay stuck down, little papers. Stay stuck down. Good little papers. much water in my water bucket and so it is making a huge mess every time I go near it it's just leaking out all over the place 
we're going to have to get rid of some of that water. So I'm going to have a mess all night long. I'm pipetting my water out of my water bucket into my garbage can. a lot <laughs> it's like up to the top all right that's better two minutes and 30 seconds left i'm gonna hit this with the heat gun It is dry and just in time. Okay. All right, next card. Okay. Add some scribble words or graffiti. And I will start the clock. Um, I usually use paint pens for this. Grab a few paint pens and just scribble some things on your on your page. Um, doesn't have to be legible. It really shouldn't be legible, really. Okay. 
So you're just gonna make marks everywhere and anywhere. And by the time we get done layering everything, you're not really gonna see these anyway. You're gonna see just little bits and pieces of them here and there, just little, it's just another layer to add. show up on here at all. I can't seem to get it to shake. The thing inside of it is not shaking. <laughs> so therefore it's not really mixing. I'm trying to loosen the mechanism that shakes it. There we go. I got it. There we go. Kind of. These are those Chocola markers. Chocola. Just graffiti. Crunchy graffiti stuff. Halloween graffitis. Ooh, you know what I should use? I have this neon. This isn't. This isn't a chalk roller. This is a chalk marker, but it's a different brand. But I do have these different supposed neon greens. There's that one, and then there's that one. This one. Yeah. This one I think would be. Cool to try. It's a little hard to write with because it's like got a chisel tip and it's not very flowy. black on there too. So I like that so far. It's groovy. So is any of the new people um, having any issues, the ones that are actually working on theirs? 
Anybody having any issues? Are you getting the hang of it? You got issues, Shazzy? Well, th those kind of issues are not... I don't think I, I can help you with those today. <laughs> if it has to do with your mixed media mashup, maybe. But those kind of issues... I don't know if we can even have time to dive into that. Same with mine. <laughs> I don't think we can dive into my kind of issues. Your phone keeps ringing. Yeah, turn that ringer off or pick it up and say, don't disturb me. I'm working on mem my mixed media mashup. I feel like the paper is still kind of wet underneath. I don't want it to be so wet. We still got uh, about almost about seven minutes to go. So if there's anything you were working on you know that you needed to finish up or if you were a little behind at all uh, this will give you the opportunity to catch up some An ombre is like where you take a couple of different colors and put them together. Um, yes, I, I know now, Janie. I, I, I figured that out a little while ago. Um, what the heck is that? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Um. No, Janie's not a snitch. Somebody else had mentioned it in the in the chat a while ago. Nah, I like Irina. I like uh, I like Irina better. Fun life on a budget. Greek guys are pain in my ass.
Hi, Sherry. She don't pay her fines. There's no point. She has an outstanding debt of like ten thousand dollars that she hasn't paid. I don't want your rubles or your rubles. Cash. I require cash. You got three minutes and 20 seconds to finish the well that prompt's pretty easy so i have a video coming out tomorrow showing you how i did these really nice watercolor leaves there's that one and that one so, oh, and there's another one too. I don't like this one as much because it's, I don't like the, the brown lines. I didn't do a very good job, but that video will be out tomorrow. My nails are disgusting from all that paint that I sat here and had all over my hands. So much fun! And don't forget I'll be having an auction on Sunday. I think you need to change your underwear, Tracy. <laughs> if you got that many farts, you might need to change your underwear. Just just from experience, I can tell you, you probably do. Why can't you have a biscuit, Laura? Yes, yeah, sit in your own filth for until you're done until you're done uh, messing yourself. <laughs> Why would why are you on that kind of a diet? That doesn't make any sense. That's not healthy. Oh, really? Oh, you have to be on that kind of a diet for diabetes, really? 600 800 calories? That's really That's not that's not very much. And the doctor told you to do that? Good lord. Well, that's good that it's been under control. Alright, we are going to pick our next card. Number four is stencil. So 
So grab your stencils and go to town on your project with said tent stencils. And I can't seem to get anything to put in this drawer. There we go. Get in there. Okay. So let's see. What kind of stencils am I going to grab out of here? Mm hmm. This one here that has different patterns on it and I've got me a sponge a spongy some of this color here. Well, that was a pleasant sound. I'm going to mix a drop of black in it to kind of give it a little more of a dark sinister look. Now I like it. Now we're liking it. Now we're talking. And I'm just going to start pouncing on some of these. Little bits. Maybe I'll do. Yeah, I'll do some random pouncing of bits. Using that sticky ass paint. Sticky ass paint. to move that out of the way. This pencil's big. I'm gonna clean it off. You're playing along, Tracy?
Now, let's see. this I'm just gonna dry that a little bit Clock wanna try. This one's more of a mask than it is a stencil, really. It's not gonna show up too dark, but Can't really see it, but that's all right. <laughs> Who cares? I didn't like that one that much. I think the paint's a little too thin or something for that stencil. I don't use this stencil very often. It's better with sprays than it is with a sponge. It's one of those kind that's not the has too much detail that doesn't really show up unless you're like real careful. I think that's all right. I've got nine million other stencils. Let's see. Got some orange. That sounds pleasant. Is that familiar, Tracy? stand up and check yourself after that sound came out of my paint bottle Pencil a pain in my ass. So every time I go to clean it, these little things lift up on it. It's driving me nuts. Alright, so we did those colors. I need to get the sponge out of here. Ooh, this is a messy paint bucket already. Green and or purple and orange paint do not go together very well. No, they don't. They are gross. Okay. Let's see what other color we got in here. 
I'll do some of this black, this metallic black. I'll give that a try. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. Lastly, I have this one. this dark red with it. It looks like blood. all the stencil I'm doing. If I can clean off the stencil, that would be wonderful. We've got 45 seconds left. Good timing. to clean too. Good enough. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun again. That's 20 seconds. Love my hot mess. Make some room. All right.
All right, next card. Okay. Too small. All right, so you're gonna take some paint or ink and you're gonna put it onto um, a piece of acetate or plastic of some sort or just any kind of a plasticky surface, something non-porous. And you're gonna print with it, basically. It's almost like a jelly print in a way, but not a jelly print. <laughs> jelly print, but not a jelly print. And this is the only piece I have. It's very flimsy. I usually don't like one that flimsy, but it's all I got. Have a good night, Gail. So, let's see. We're going to take some paint. a couple different purples metallic purple and this other purple and then I've got some black and I'll take like you could take like a paintbrush or if it's like like you can just do this and do something of that nature, mush it around, and then put it on and make some prints with it. Cool. It's one of my favorite prompts, I think. I really like doing that. It's kind of satisfying. And then do it as many times as you want until you're happy with whatever you put down. And you can use like a plastic sandwich bag. That'll work too. If you got one. If you don't have a piece of acetate. But usually if we buy stamps or something, usually the stamps are sitting on one of these. You can borrow that to do it. Um, These two different ones. Yeah, let's see if, if they're any different. Oh, it's a little lighter. I'll do the metallic black and a little bit of gray and regular black. And maybe a drop of red. And then we'll mush it together here cool it's like one of those Warshack images <laughs> is that what they're called Warshack Warshack not Warshack Warshack's from the the dude from the welcome back Cotter <laughs> not him You can keep pressing it down on if it's real wet in one spot and just keep transferring it. Cool. I like it. It's messy and I like it. It'll be a good background for what I'm going to do with this canvas, which I'm going to do in the after stream. I'm going to be finishing the canvas. I've got um, a haunted house to put on there. Is gonna be fun so we need it to be a dark and evil background so 
from my evil haunted house. Okay, it is beautiful. It's very full of color and uh, what do you call it? Halloween goodness. I don't want to put any more. I think I want a little more of the, the metallic black with some of the purple because I need some of it up here a little more wherever I'm going to make a sky. Um, yeah, I'll do it up here. So I'm going to do that. But normally I wouldn't have any rhyme or reason for my canvas or my paper or whatever I'm doing but because I'm going to turn it into something afterwards I need a little bit of reason and rhyme and <laughs> all right this ain't gonna work if my hands are covered in paint when I go to do it this is gonna make a mess Usually come out of mixed media mashup with more paint on my hands and under my fingernails than I do on any canvas or paper I do it on. How is that possible? And I clean up along the way too. But yet, it don't matter. My fingers always look like a freaking war zone. Alright, we've got 8 minutes and 22 seconds. I'm going to dry mine because it definitely needs that.
is dry. Hi, Tanya. Bye, Tanya. <laughs> So we are at the halfway point. Most of the time it start it looks like a hot mess at the halfway point and then usually it'll start to kind of look better as the last five prompts are done. It gets better. What are you talking about, Karen? Sent me what? What did you send me? She did? When did we do that? <laughs> I don't remember. I do not remember that. Oh, you're gonna get you're gonna get your chicken livers, your your freeze dried chicken livers. Am I putting that out of the way? You'll enjoy them, Janie. <laughs> In May of 2017, are you sure? <laughs> I don't remember no monk juice. What are you talking about? Well, my one towel is soaking wet. Gotta hang that one, see if I have another one that's drier laying around here somewhere. Mm, there's one. I knew I had one somewhere. Ew. Chicken river is gross. <laughs> Especially the smell of it. <laughs> it's freeze dried for dogs and it smells so bad. But they love it. Oh my god, my dogs love it. It's it's been, but I'm hoping and crossing my fingers that it's not like a fluke. But for the past three days, I've been putting it at the bottom, like because like it, it's a whole big tub of chicken livers, freeze dried chicken livers, and it's a treat for dogs. But it has you know it's pure chicken livers. It's not like there's nothing else in it. And mo it's mostly like bigger chunks like that are, you know, like the size of like a little nugget or pebble or whatever. And you give it to them as treats. But there are some like little bits that get, because it's freeze dried, you know, they crumble, you know. And some of them, I guess, you get a little bit of crumbles here and there in the bucket. Well, I take those crumbles and I put them at the bottom of Winnie's food bowl. And then I put her food in it. And I always take a little water and put it on her food, like hot water to make it kind of softer for her. And she's picky about eating. She'll some days she'll eat all of her food, and then like some days she'll eat like a couple of bites and decide it's all she wants. You know, I feed her twice a day, so you know sometimes she'll eat the first meal completely, and the next meal she only wants two bites. It's just a pain in the ass to get her to eat consistently. So I got those chicken livers, and I started putting the crumbles at the bottom of her food, and then put her food on it, and put a little water on it. And now she, because she loves the chicken liver treats, so now she's eating all of her food and she's eating it so fast and it's like, good. You know, I want her to eat it and like it and want to eat it. <laughs> so she's been doing really good with her food lately. There's one minute and five seconds left to finish your acetate mess. <laughs> 
Hi, Zoe. You can't play this one because you're in Alabama? Yeah, Alabama, they don't allow you to have paints there. <laughs> Are you visiting somebody in Alabama? Come a little north and you can come visit me. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 not going to buy it from the store and give it to them, but I'll give them the freeze-dried treats. <laughs> I'm sure they'd like it, but yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not going to the store and buying like raw meat and cooking it and all. I don't. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't do all that. I don't even cook for myself. I'm not cooking for my dog. <laughs> all right. So next up. Next up. Let's see. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Use purple. <laughs> How many times have I already used purple on this? But, you know, whatever. Whatevs. Use purple anyway. I don't really want to use any more purple. I might skip this one because I've already used so much purple. But, you guys use purple. I mean, it would be different if she wasn't eating at all. Then, yeah, of course, I would do anything to feed her. But, I mean, she is eating. She's fine. She's not like, you know, she's never starving. I don't allow it. You know what I mean? I, I have things I give her if on days where she doesn't feel like eating. I have, like, they make doggy spray cheese in a can. And they have, like, the liver. They have the liver one and they have the cheese one. And I have them both. And they're they're meant for, like, those toys where they're like the rubber, hard rubber, and they have a hole in it, and you're supposed to put the cheese or the liver stuff in the, there with the spray can. Well, I just sit, hold her, and, you know, like like a little kid, you would spray whipped cream into your mouth. I just hold, start spraying it, and she starts licking it. She loves that, too. Um, so I can do that on days where she's not eating as much. I just do that, and she eats more. Um, or give her some treats or, you know, she, she eats. So I don't, you know, it's just, I have to, she's picky and I have to go through sometimes a little bit of trouble to get her to eat. But, you know, she, she's gained a lot of weight since I've had her though. She was so skinny when I got her, but now she's her, you know, she's not, she's totally normal weight for her size. I just don't ever want her to get thin, you know, super thin again. So I'm just careful about it. I'm going to run to the potty. I'll be right back.
Okay. Take my medicine. And I gotta eat a mound bar. I think Janie's losing it. Her dogs are talking to her. Is there anybody still working on their purple? If not, I'll move to the next one since we're um since it's probably doesn't take that long to add a little purple to whatever you're doing, but if somebody's still working, I will leave it. All right, I'm going to assume nobody's still working on purple then. I can stop the timer. Well, then then it's your fault if anybody's still working on it, Jamie. <laughs> All right, we'll pick another card. And if you have a problem with the fact that I stopped the timer, then you go to, uh, you go to Janie and yell at her. <laughs> it's all her fault. Every ounce of it. It's all her. <laughs> she told me to do it. I was just listening. This next one is a poodle pass, which means you can do whatever you want. So it's a, kind of like a free pass. You could do whatever you want. Whatever your heart desires to your paper, do it. Mm -hmm. 
Where's that other? Oh, there it is. It's like, where'd the other orange go? Another beautifully globby color. Gross. Okay. Big old glob. Gross. I don't know if that's the only one, but hmm. that was what was in there. Nope, that's not the only one. Why? Why do my paints have to be globby? Why? Why? Why do you insist on being globulars? Globulosis? That's the, the official scientific name. Well, at least I got some of it out before half of it got globbed away. You're not globby. You love me. That color was, wasn't was globby. Now what I need is something that um, I keep putting places and then forgetting where I put it because I, I would never use it. And there goes that on the floor. Ooh, I forgot about those paints. Well, damn it. Great. Um, hmm. Is there anywhere over here? Um, I should have looked for it before I went through all that trouble. Hmm, interesting. Oh, these are all open to it. Hmm, I had this pouncy thing and now it's gone. I don't know where it went. Hmm, is it over here somewhere? What the hell? Going that route, I guess. <laughs> I really don't know where it went. Wait, what's that? Let me find it. Hmm. Oh man. Well. OK, 
Okay then. That wasn't gonna work, I guess. Come up with a different plan here. Hmm. I like that. Careful not to smear it too much, but This is going to show up very well. Probably not. No, not really. No, not really. Now, what I can do is. Um, take this piece of watercolor paper. And Just 
kind of cool bird textured little tag thing. Got three minutes and 50 seconds. inks. Let's see if I can get those to show up at all on here. Yeah, see, they do a little bit more than the other ones. Against the black and stuff. Cool. I like that. Cool. Cool. Try that. Number eight. Eight, eight, eight. Let's kick its ass. Use household stamps. Use household stamps. We'll start the timer. And by household stamps, that means anything from around the house that you can stamp with, really. 
um, I like to use bubble wrap. And I am going to definitely use some bubble wrap uh, as I want. I'm thinking about where I'm going to put the bubble wrap. Um, about taking a little of this color and a drop of that mixing it together and seeing what I get which I kind of like that and uh, doing some kind of strategic little bubbles like these are little leaves on these little weird stick trees that I got going on over here gonna be the oh my god um no stop it oh. so that's like those are gonna be like little trees behind my haunted house Spitting, just paint spitting. Mm, a little bit more. Um, maybe a little more yellow. What paint? Oh, it's gotta be a pain in the ass. That is better. No, I got one. Put them out. I'm just going to spread it a little thinner. I'm going to make a little, little 
mine thingies. Yellow, much more yellow. And now that I've got too much paint here, we're going to use up the excess on here. This little weird, weird looking tag thing that I've got going on. We can use some more texture. So you don't think it's roadkill anymore? <laughs> or what did you guys call it? Meat? I don't know. I saw that so fast because I was working, but I don't know what you guys were talking about. Something to do with roadkill and meat, and I think it was when I was collaging. Alright. Anything else? Still too wet. Maybe if I dry it for a second, I could throw some of this gray on there.
any of the detail that's going into this will go in later, not now. This is just background. I'm not going to sit here and draw what I want to put on there now. I'm, I'm going to put the haunted house and everything else on it later. So that's coming later. Not the now. This is just to get a basic background. I mean, the only detail I did do was that just because I had a didn't know what else to do at that point. But right now... This is all I'm doing is this type of stuff. Okay, that needs to dry over there. And now we've got four minutes and 11 seconds of pure fun goodness to sit here and do nothing. <laughs> Finished my prompt. I do have to dry that a little more though. better but I like wa waffles I'm picky about though if they're not done right I don't like them I have a teeny tiny waffle maker it makes little teeny tiny waffles and I love it it literally takes two minutes not even to make a waffle in that thing Your mom used to make bull penis? What? Janie, what are you talking about? No, a pizzle is a is a is a bull's penis that are turned into chewy treats for dogs. It's Jewish alright. <laughs> Goes beyond circumcision, that's for sure. Looking at an iron? Why are we looking at an iron? Is that a fancy iron? Is it expensive? I don't iron my clothes. No, I don't. Holy crap! I would never iron my clothes if I had to pay okay they have a $50 mini one but holy crap a hundred and over a hundred dollars for an iron all you gotta do is take wrinkles out of your clothes no nope <laughs> that I can't see that I can't do that's like when people pay five six hundred dollars for a vacuum cleaner I'm like all it's got to do is suck the dirt <laughs> off the floor Pizel, Pizel. Ooh, funnel cake. Mm. All 
right, now we were on to number nine, I think. Number nine. I'm going to type on my thing. My keyboard's not there. I went to type on my canvas. Use black. I've already used black. But that's okay. I'll use more black. I can use more black. Mm. Okay. We'll use black. I've never heard of it. Whatever it is. What's going on? Oh. Goodness gracious. Take the black on Aha. Maybe I'll do some larger black. Um, bubbles. Cool. I dig it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. There's some here, too. Is that the rest of that paint? Pop it on there and oh, <laughs> squeaky. Pleasant sound. Okay, well, that took all of a minute and a half to do. That iron thing that you put a link up for, my mom would have loved that. She liked to iron everything with her, you know, she ironed everything real nice. I don't iron. I don't like to iron. I hate it. In fact, it sucks. Ooh, that's an idea. Can use the black. Metallic and attempt to I don't know, do something with this thing here. Do this. Cool. Let's 
subtle. You won't see it very much, but it looks kind of cool. I like it. It is black. It's black metallic. It's as black as it gets with that. See? Black pearl. Not that it'll focus, but it says black pearl. It's got a pearl in it, which gives it a metallic look. I mean, if it was like true black, it wouldn't be metallic at all then. So it has like a you can see more that it looks like black there, but when you do that, it shines in the light. It don't look black anymore. So, suck it, Laura. Well, well, of course. It looks black under my nail. <laughs> Gross. It's disgusting. Gross, gross, gross. Hi Marion. What what do the Harbor Freight sell pretty cheap? I'm gonna be getting a compressor there for uh Yeah, air compressor. They have them for like 50, 60 bucks. Um and I wanna get one to do the alcohol inks, you know. Um, because it, the cans of air, like, you know, I can't get them from Chris's work anymore because he is not working at the building. So they're too expensive to keep investing in. I mean, by the time you buy, you, you know, go through six cans of air, you've pretty much paid for a compressor from Harbor Freight. <laughs> you might as well just get one. Yeah, the one, there's one that comes with an air gun and everything, yep. Yeah, that's the one I want to get. I have a UV nail machine. I'm actually going to make my own. I'm going to be doing a project soon um, where I show how to build your own UV curing oven so that you don't have to use a nail bed when you want to do larger projects and you want to use the UV resin. Um, so watch for that soon. Yeah, it's 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 cheaper and easier to do it on your own than it is to than it is to buy a nail thing. I mean, well, the cheaper the cheapy cheapy nail things are cheaper, but it's under like under fifty bucks or around fifty bucks. You can make your own. 
and it'll be better and bigger and able to hold more things, larger things, when you do the work with resin. Easy peasy. Yeah, I should be doing that video in the next few weeks, hopefully. So is there anybody that is not done with their use black prompt and needs to me to wait the, the remaining four and a half minutes? Good night, T. No, it'll be number 10, I think. Number 10 we're getting ready for. I just didn't want to, I know there was a couple of new people in here and I didn't want to rush them in case they were working on, you know, you know, working with us tonight. Oh, it does for 45 crap. I might have to grab that. I hope when I wonder when their sale ends. Do you, let me know when their sale does it say when their sale ends? Some sneaky girls coming down the hallway to see what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to cut the timer and go to the next card, which will be our last one other than our optionals. We do three optionals at the end. Um, that you can either add or, you know, if you feel like you need something else, uh, it's a good one to good, you know, you get three to choose from if you wanted to add something else. So the last one beside our optional ones is um, add paint or ink splatters or drips, which I'm going to add some splatters with my, actually I want to use the interference paint because there's one that's like a purple and I want to do that, splatter it. That sounds like a good freaking idea. The problem is getting to the paint because stuff in the way. There we go. Here it is. Got it. I got it. I'm going to half acidly cover up this section here and just splatter onto there. If I use this, I can cover it up without. that over there just in case because you know I'm a hot mess and everything ends up everywhere. And I'm gonna slide this down a tad. Top a little water in it. And that is my my fan brush. There it is. It's hiding. Might throw a little bit of. Um, whoa, don't pull that out, dummy. What's going on? Why did that drawer pull out? Stuck, I say, stuck. A T. 
teensy wincy bit of holographic glitter. For dramatic effect and stars. And I have it in the silver. Maybe I don't. Maybe I have this black. Stop it. Stop being a pain in my eyes. Got this little black glitter. Dark. effect with the interference paint plus all the glitters to make a really pretty little oh and I need one other thing a tiny drop of varnish just to hold that glitter down really well just a splash that's it just a splash One more splash. Make sure I got it in there. Okay. Come to mama, you're pretty. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. And then, just get a larger brush of some sort and just start splattering it. Have it rain. Ooh, that sparkle is pretty. Heck yeah, man. wasting it. If it's too damn pretty and holographic glitter, it is not cheap. It's one of the more expensive glitters you can get. If it's true holographic anyway. little bit for good measure. There we go. Perfect. Well, the live has taken you to this live arena. That's where live has taken you. Here to my live. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we've got a really pretty sparkly sky with iridescent, no, holographic glitter, which you can't see because it doesn't like to show up on camera, but you know, whatever. And I can take a little bit of this and do that to get it a little bit over in the areas that were a little weird down here. So it shows through where I have the towel, but 
There we go. Good. Good, good. Rob. Like a, you can see the slight sh uh, sparkle in the background from the holographic glitter, which you guys can't see on camera because holographic glitter does not come across on camera very well, unless there's like a lot of it. But like you can see right there, see all the different color sparkles popping up. That's that holographic glitter right in there. It's just like a disco, but it is really pretty. Cool. I didn't want too much sparkle, but I knew that that little bit would be perfect, and it is. Perfect. This probably has more sparkle because I laid it, loaded it on there. That's alright. You like sparkle. kind of oh I have the autofocus off that's why it's not going to focus but the metallic is getting in the way of seeing the sparkle I could see it in person a lot but the camera's not picking it up I like it it came out really good cool So then uh, what I'll usually do is after we're done with this live stream, I'll end it and I'll come back on and I'll do the haunted houses, which I had some haunted houses, but I may or may not paint some haunted houses on here just because um, now that I've got these little trees on here, I think the ones that I have will be a little bit too big. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look. But if I have to paint them, it's fine. I do have that wood thing that says Halloween. I could make that kind of cool. I could do that in pure holographic glitter. That would look awesome. Black painted and then put holographic glitter all across it. That would look pretty badass. And just have it say Halloween. And then put like a cool, like a cool, like creepy kind of like border with like drippages and stuff. And then put a painted house um, with like yellow um, like neon yellow windows 
That would be kind of cool. I didn't say a bad word. You said a bad word. So there. <laughs> they want to edit your videos. I get all kinds of emails. I just like, it'll say something so generic, like, hi, I've watched your videos. Um, I, I like what you have to say. Uh, you do, you have, you know, whatever great content and it's very generic and it's like, it's obvious they don't watch the channel at all. And they want to be like my MCN or whatever, where they, you know, you, you give them part of your money and they act like they're going to help you promote your channel and stuff. Um, they start coming in after you've got like a couple thousand subscribers. You start getting those emails every now and again. Just, just ignore them. Don't ever do it. Because all they do is rip you off and take your money. Yeah, they just want part of, as soon as they know you're, you know, at the sta stage where you're monetized, they start trying to come after you for money because they think that you're, you know, it's kind of like, it's just like a scam. Yes, you post your pictures in the group and make sure you put number sign, or um, MMM in capital letters with a number sign 124, because that's the, the thing it is today, is 124th. Makes me a mashup. So you'll put it, you'll put it, when you post your picture, just put in the comment or in the, you know, in the caption, MMM, um, all one line, doesn't matter how you do it. Just make sure that, that is in your picture. And then it's good to go. And then I will go in and I will write down everybody's name who did it and put them in a thing and somebody will win a canvas and other goodies. Can't stop looking at the pretty glitters. Ooh, you're making cards? Laura's making cards. Awesome. Hi, Ray. The sale price for what? That compressor is 10.4 to 10.6? 10 10.4. 10 It'll be... Oh, crap. Never mind. I guess I ain't getting it on sale. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. I'll either wait till their next... They always have it on sale, though. You know, like every month or two, it's on sale. All right, uh, we only have 25 seconds left. I'm gonna cancel that out so that I can put our optionals out because you can keep working on whatever you're working on. Um, our first optional. is going to be add lines. And I already add lines. You could do it like that with like some sort of credit card or something and you can add paint lines. Um, and like I said, these are optional so you don't have to do them. It's only if you feel like you need to add a little something else to yours. You can add these. Add texture. You can use texture paste or anything else that will add any kind of texture. And then the last one is add dots. I kind of did add dots, so I have dots too. And that is everything for today's mixed media mashup. So as soon as you're done, post your picture in the group. Um, I'm going to get the cup. And uh, I have to get last week's people first. And so you got a few minutes if you're still working on yours. But go ahead and take the picture, even if you're not quite done working on it. You can go ahead and take your picture and post it. It doesn't have to be, you know, completely done. Just so that you know it's uploaded and it's there. And I don't miss it. Um... I have to run to the potty, and then I'm going to grab the cup on my way back. I'll be right back.
Okay. So, how it usually works is I have two different giveaways, each mixed media mashup. Every time we have mixed media mashup, uh, some people don't do it the night that, you know, live. They don't do it live. Sometimes they'll watch the recording later and do it then, you know, and they'll submit it during the week. Those people, um, I add in, like that's what I'm going to do right now, is add the people from last week in to this batch, which are the people that did it with us last week. So you get two chances to win if you do it with us live. You'll get put in tonight's drawing, and then your names will stay in that cup, and then the following week, I'll add in any people that did it during the week, and that'll be another drawing. So that you get two chances to win. Um, so right now I'm gonna go through real quick and grab, while you guys are finishing up, grab anybody that worked on theirs during the week and just make sure I have their names down so I can't see the chat for, a, for about um, two minutes while I take care of this. Um, and then I will start getting the new pe all the new stuff from tonight's Mixed Media Mashup. I'll start taking care of them. I'll empty the cup at that point after I do this drawing and then I'll put all the new people, all the new, new Mixed Media Mashup from tonight in, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's hard to explain to anybody new that's what the hell goes on, but I'm right now looking for Mixed Media Mashup 123 in the group. And what's nice is I can just do a search and find everybody's. And if I didn't add them yet, then that's what I'll do now. And you'll know I added you because there'll be a heart put on your picture from me. So if you get a notification or see that Stacy Evans put a heart, you know, whatever, that's how you know that I've seen it and I counted it and it's in the cup. So th there's probably not very many people that did it during the week. Just a few usually. Just people that can't get here to play on the nights that we play or whatever. Everybody's from that. Okay, so now I've got everybody's to add to this thing, and then we will draw the name, and then I'll start on the newest ones from this week's. If you do win, be patient with me, because it does take me a while to get things out. I've been slowly making a dent in it, but 
I'm hoping by the end of next week I should have pretty much everybody's out that I that I'm backed up on. Okay. So and if in like two weeks you still haven't gotten something from me, message me on Facebook because I should have everybody's out. But, you know, things, if I, you know, if something happens or I don't feel good or I have something going on and unexpected, that could obviously delay things too. So this is for last week's second drawing. Let me get a name. Okay. Um, Miss Rome. Miss Rome. Miss Rome got it. She won. Now, this particular one where it's the second drawing for each mixed media mashup, you can win it as many times as you want. As long as your name keeps coming up. Because um, I just send a little prize envelope for that one. It's not as big of a deal. Um, but... For the one like we're gonna do now, um, which I just didn't mean to do that. I threw it in here, didn't I? For the day of, if you do it with us live for that one, you can only win once every three months. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and get names for today's people's, today's things, you know what I mean. Well, I'm glad you finished it, Michelle. It's awesome. All right. And I'll put my screen on so everybody can see what I see. So you can see everybody's awesomeness, too. Okay, we can get everybody's, and I'll write everybody's name down. Ooh, look at Miss Christine's. Christine, you did a great job. Very cool. I love that. That came out great. Very, very festively. Festive in Halloween. That's awesome. I like your, like, black cat. Very cool. Ooh, Miss Shelley's is very colorful. I love that. Very cool. That's really colorful. I love it. Oh, and you got a cool, like, punched border. That's awesome. Very cool. Miss Julie. Oh, that is so cool. And that's not even mixed media mashup, but look at that. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. A 3D piece. Anyway, <laughs> that's cool. Ooh, Miss JD, yours is cool. Yours looks like a jungle. Very cool, Miss JD. She got jungle fever. Um, Miss Laura. Very cool, Miss Laura. She's hers is very drippy and evil. Are you doing that for a Halloween something or other you're going to use it for? Ooh, Miss Michelle's yours is pretty. Very colorful. You have the same name as my niece, by the way, Michelle Evans. <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, no, I didn't ask for that. Duh, 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 duh. That is really cool. Ooh, Miss Jacqueline. Hers is drippy and fun, too. Very cool. Stop that. Why does it keep doing that? I'm going to take it up with Mark Zuckerberg. Alright. Very pretty, Miss Jacqueline. And Miss Bima. <laughs> oh, this is a help. 
What'd you do? Draw Wilson? She drew Wilson <laughs> with her handprint. Is that your handprint? Wackadoo. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she made bloody handprints. Miss Angela. Oh, that's really pretty, Miss Angela. I love that. It came out really good. Ooh, Miss Teresa. Yours came out really pretty, too. Ooh. Very cool. That came out really good. Colorful. I like how you have the undercolor of the teal and the hot pink with the purple and black over it. It's awesome. And Miss Asia, very nice. Oh, she used the you used the used canvas. That's awesome. Repurposing, we like it. I have um. I usually I usually would grab um. Some used canvases from the Creative Reuse whenever I see them. They might have like just a couple little things on them, and I'll just go through and gesso it and use it over again. But that's really cool. I like the way you did that. It's nice and colorful. Ooh, Miss Esther. That's your 123. I already counted that. I was going to say, that looked too familiar. <laughs> I already counted that one. That's cute, Marion. <laughs> and then, let's see. I don't think... Oh, there's Joy's. Very pretty, Miss Joy. That's your 124, right? Yeah. Very pretty. Um, excuse you. Oh, that's really cool, Teresa. That came out cool. The mixed media canvas. All right, are we done down here? I think so. Let's go up and refresh and grab anybody that. Whoa, get up there. Grab anybody that just got theirs posted up. Miss Joy McCarthy. Ooh, yours is cool, Joy. Oh, she's got little chickens or roosters on hers and little fences. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome, Miss Joy. Very cool. Very cool. I like your, uh, I see your ombre in the back. That came out really good. Your ombre was really good. Ooh, Miss Jeanette. She did bubbles. Very cool. They look great. That looks awesome. Ooh, yours is really pretty, Sheila. She did a great job. This is your first time, isn't it? Is it your first time? Or wait a minute. Do I remember you doing it once before? Your name looks familiar, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. But that came out really cute. I like the... I like the this color, like orangey yellow color with the pink and the purple color, that looks really cool together. Very good. Very, very cool. And we got Miss Christine, and we got Miss Shelley, and we got, no, that one's not mixing your mashup and MJDs. And who else? Let's see. We got that. We got Miss Michelle, and Jacqueline, and Beamont, and Angela's, and Teresa's, and we got Asia's, and Esther's. And Joy, and that's not mixing your mash up. And then I think that's it down here. Yeah, and we'll go refresh again. All right, let's see what anybody new. Alright, so if you didn't get yours up and you haven't seen me write it down or comment on it or any, there's no heart on it, make sure, you're, or if you're having problems getting it posted, let me know now in the chat so that I know to wait for you to get that situated because I don't want to, you know, so make sure you say something in the chat like I'm having issues or I haven't gotten it up yet for whatever reason. Um, now, if you haven't finished it because you're trying to catch up or something, that I can't help you with, but... 
if it's a technical problem, we could probably help you get it up. So that's what she said. Um, no, I definitely couldn't tell it was her first time. Her name looked familiar though. I thought maybe I'm going to start cutting these up, but if there is anybody, I will wait before I do any kind of final anything. Karen's posting mom bots. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me know when it's posted, Karen, and I'll go in and I'll write it down and all that good stuff. So for now, I'll just cut everybody's up. Just make sure it's empty. Anybody else that didn't get theirs up yet? Irina? Irina, who ran her mouth all night. Did you get yours up? Is it up there? Okay, I'm going to go look as soon as I put these in. I will go get your mom's and write her name down. How come you didn't do it, Karen? Are you at work? Anybody else that I'm waiting for? I'm going to take it knowing that Karen's is the only one that I need to look at. Okay, I found it. I will show it. That's Karen's mom's. That came out really good. Miss Janet, very pretty. Very pretty. I'll write her name down here. Okay, and I got it hearted. Very beautiful. I love it. It looks really good. I can see it looks like the start of something. Like it's a, you can actually just leave it the way it is, but if you wanted to, you can like, I could, it would look, you know, you can add like stuff to it and make it into a full on, cause she's like an artist artist. She does all kinds of cool stuff. So that could definitely be, you know, something. Okay. I got everybody's name. Oh yeah. Well, unfortunately I wish I could have done it yesterday, but I knew I was like, well, with us having to go and run errands and go to the doctors and plus, you know, I was getting my shot and all that stuff. So I knew that yesterday was probably not a good day. And it's good because I didn't get home until like almost nine o'clock anyway. All right. All right. Ready? Let me grab one. Let me make sure first before I read it that it's somebody that is eligible. Otherwise, I don't want to even say who it is. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Just going back on my little pages to check. But I don't want to disappoint anybody. So that's why if it's somebody, I'm just going to say, nope, they're not eligible and put them back. Um, let me see. Okay, yeah, this person is eligible. Miss Teresa Brady, you win. Miss Teresa. Congrats. You're going to get a canvas. Congrats. Congrats. Awesome, Miss Teresa, and I will stick your name on the canvas. Congrats, 
Miss Teresa. You got yourself a canvas to do mixed media mashup on, hopefully. And thank you to everybody who played along. It was a lot of fun. Fun, fun, fun till her daddy took her T-bird away. <laughs> I'm going to go and make myself something to eat and I'll come back on in about uh, 35 minutes. Probably about 1230 because I want to eat something real quick and clean up this mess. And then I'm going to work on the rest of my canvas to complete it and make it look awesome. Hopefully. Crossing fingers. <laughs> Um, so I will see some of you in a little while and thanks for playing along and don't forget I'm having a auction on Sunday at 4 30 p.m. I will be putting the link up in a little while so um, yeah come check it out have a good night poodle pack out pink poodle crafts join the poodle pack it's time to get creative and make you laugh make your own or today pink poodle crafts is the way what a good boy